hello YouTube and chat and whoever is out there watching it's uh, currently what is it I think it's 1 p.m. so I'm just out for a little bit of a walk and uh, and a chat with you guys I've been uh, I'm going to take a walk in my local forest so stick around and then I'll find some place where we can sit and talk found this lovely bench to sit on just uh, out here in my local forest it's not that far from my apartment and uh, I thought this would be as nice a place as any to uh, to have a bit of a chat with you guys some of you already know this story but I thought telling it in a an actual video on the actual internet would be a good idea instead of just on stream to the to the few people that have heard it there a couple of years ago I was working a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I kind of stressed myself out because I was working so much and I kept going and I kept going and I kept going. And eventually it just came to a point where I couldn't get up in the morning and stuff like that. And I went to the doctor. And uh, once I did that, the doctor told me that I had stress. And I told, uh, I told myself and I told everyone around me that I didn't believe in stress. I thought stress was a made-up disease and that stress was only something that happened to uh, weak people, so to say. So instead of actually letting myself have stress and letting myself chill out, I told myself that I was an idiot for having this. Uh, tore myself down even further than I usually was. And that, of course, didn't help anything. That made it worse and worse and eventually I ended up uh, not being able to do anything but go to my job at a nightclub where I was drinking all day then go home and sleep and go back to the nightclub and drink again so when I came to the doctor again after a little while to have this checkup on how, how everything was going with my stress she told me that I no longer just had stress I'd actually gotten a depression and um that kind of hit me in a place I didn't know that I could get hit. And suddenly it made sense why I was so sad and, or not sad, but just why I just didn't care as much anymore. And um, I started going to my doctor more and more often. I went to her like week, every, every second week to, to, to t kind of talk about how everything was going. But um, when I was, struggling with this depression thing I kind of found out a lot of things about myself and one of those things is that I'm, I'm a bit more fragile than than I thought I was and I have to kind of I, I get periods of time where everything is good and then I get periods where everything's not as good and I think what I want to say is that ever since I was sick last week I've kind of hit one of those walls again that I found out is just a stable of my life now that sometimes I'll just hit these periods of time and these walls where I'm not as happy as I used to be I'm not in as good a mood as I used to be and I want to tell you guys this because I I've been feeling like my streams have been affected by my mood recently I've been more tired I haven't had the same kind of outward energy and I don't feel like I've been as funny as I, uh, I, as I usually am. That's why I wanted to talk about the whole thing that I'm kind of trying to work on. And I at least feel my streams haven't been as good as they used to be. I'm of course going to keep streaming and uh, I'm going to keep working on myself. But I have to also take a little bit of time. My brain is not where it used to be like a month ago. Especially stuff like League of Legends. I'm going to have to take a break from League of Legends because I've just not been... I've been feeling like League of Legends are destroying my mental more than anything. And I hope that the guys who come to watch League of Legends don't mind that. I probably will be not playing it as much as I used to be. And yeah, on, on top of that, I'm just going to have to take these walks some more. 
because this is one of those things that really help me when I'm feeling down or when I'm not feeling as well as I used to is to just go for a long walk and take a deep breath and feel nature a little bit. I was told back when I started working on my depression that this was one of the things that I should do every day actually and I've not been doing it. I think that that's gonna help. But yeah, I, uh, I really just wanted to talk about the fact that I'm not where I want to be right now and that's okay. And I hope you guys think that's okay as well, because it's, it's just how it is, I guess. Yeah, anyway, I better get going again. But thanks for the talk. Hope you uh, stick around for the rest of the walk. thing I want to say and that is um, <clears throat> I want you guys to know that even though I, I might sound a little bit like I don't enjoy streaming right now I really do I really really do I always love when I go live and I have all of you there and I love every single one of you out there it's I'm so glad that you guys let me do what I love to do and I just want you to know that I'll keep streaming as long as you guys keep watching so thank you. It's been a one hour walk already, so it's probably about time to get home. And it's already a little bit past, a little bit past two. So I, I have to hurry home a little bit. But thank you all for st sticking around. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the walk as much as I did. <laughs>